What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, I would like to give you some ideas of challenges that you can try to challenge yourself with or projects that you can challenge yourself with to build and by that learn how to become a really good C Sharp developer. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of projects here, some ideas. So I even have prepared some GitHub links that you can then check out. So this will help you to get an initial starting point, but you shouldn't just copy those. Maybe you can use them to get a little bit of an inspiration of what you could build here. So the first one will be this ATM here. So a very simple ATM and basically it allows you to withdraw money. There have to be multiple different user types. So customers, administrators that can manage their accounts and so forth. So you can really come up with your own ideas what this ATM tool can do. It's cool if it's a console application because this will be very easy to build even if you have limited C-sharp knowledge or if you're a beginner, this should be possible to build. And you can come up with your own points and really write them down and then build one feature after the other. So one of those points ticked off and then go to the next one and try to build this. This will really help you out. If you're already an advanced C-Sharp developer, then the next projects will be a little more interesting. But even if you're a beginner, they will be very interesting in the sense that you will understand what you will have to learn to achieve building them. Okay, so for example, IMDB, the International Movie Database, which is an amazing website where you can check out your favorite shows and new movies and so forth, right? And what's cool here is it's built by Nakov and he has built it in multiple different programming languages, which is very nice. So you can even check out this GitHub repository and you can find how he built it in C-sharp. So what you're going to need here is ASP.NET. So the ASP.NET framework using MVC and the entity framework. Okay, we're by the way, working on a course on this topic. So stay tuned. It's gonna come in the next couple of months, probably two months or so. And then he is also using the Razor View Engine. So that's how you can create nice views very easily and quickly. The Entity Framework and the ORM Framework. This allows you to use clean data models and store data very easily and very cleanly. That's amazing stuff. And then the Microsoft SQL Server Database. Okay, so you would have to look into all of these features in order to build it the exact same way that he has built it. Okay, but of course, don't feel limited to actually have to build it this way. You can, of course, also use what this guy has prepared here. So this is a movie catalog with a simple MVVM-based WPF application with a SQL database. Okay, so this is a different approach to the same challenge, even though in this case, it's not going to be a web app. So it's not going to be a website, but it's actually going to be a PC program where you can then put your database in. So you can enter the values in there, like movie image, movie name and so forth. Okay, so that's something that you could build up here. And he's using WPF, which is the framework that you can use in order to create a very nice user interface. And by the way, we're also working on a course about that. That is going to come out soon. So <laughs> that's one thing. And then he's using the MVVM pattern. Okay, so model view, view model and very clean pattern. So this is going to be some next level stuff. So this is definitely not beginner's stuff. You need to learn WPF to understand fully what's going on there. And you need to understand a little bit about MVVM as well. So he's using a clean pattern here. You can check out what the prerequisites are, getting started and so forth. Really good stuff. So I highly recommend to whenever you have an idea for a project, just check out GitHub. There are so many projects out there and they can really help you out getting some ideas and also seeing how people have solved certain challenges. Okay, and the next one would be a Twitter bot and you can just search for Twitter bot and you can see 25 public repositories matching this topic, even filtering it for the C sharp language and you can see there are plenty. Okay, so you can just check those out. I don't have a specific one because each of them have specific skills and it really depends on what you want to build. So does this bot have to actually post something or should it just gather some data and display it for you? So there are multiple different ways on how to build what you are going to need. It really depends on what you need. Therefore, you are going to have to 
check out the documentation. So developer.twitter.com, there you can find the documentation going through everything step by step. There are even tutorials here, which is very nice. So you can really just follow the tutorials and understand how everything is built up. And that will be important whenever you're building anything more complex, learning through documentations is going to be so important. You will need to become friends with reading documentations and understanding them and really digging deep into them because this is the only way to become a real pro at it because these documentations many times they're so broad there's so much information it's so well prepared in many cases so it's going to make your life a lot easier when developing whatever you're developing quick pause in this video you learn something about c sharp and if you want to learn everything there is to know that you need for the fundamentals and to become a real c sharp developer then definitely check out my c sharp masterclass in which you're going to learn all of the things you need to know about c sharp so you're going to learn how to do the basics how to use object-oriented programming how to use wgpf in order to create your own user interfaces how to use databases how to use link how to create your own games using unity and a lot more so if you want to become a real c sharp developer definitely check out the link in the description below and then there is this Mr. Roboto Arigato, and that's the a little ASP.NET MVC e-commerce store. Okay, so an e-commerce store is also another challenging one, but at the same time, a very fulfilling one because there are so many e-commerce stores out there and they're very important. And if you can build one yourself, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's another real cool project. It's a full stack web application. So if you can build that, then you are a full stack developer. Okay, so if that's your goal, learn the skills to build that okay and then you will definitely be able to okay so this is just an example here it's a full stack asp.net mvc e-commerce application even though he's probably not using the latest version .NET core 5 but it, either way i think it should be fine for you to get started with it and learn about it okay he even has the data base schema visual list here so it's a lot easier to understand what's going on and so forth so really in-depth guide here even some images on how this page comes about, what it looks like, the login and so forth. So all of the good stuff. And then finally, Particle, which is a 2D platformer. So this is just an example of a game. So you could come up with any type of game and try to build it. Of course, don't try anything too complex at the beginning. Don't think that you can build an RPG game in a week or so, but even if you have no experience whatsoever with Unity, it's very nice to get started with building applications by using Unity. These kind of applications will be games and games are fun most of the time, right? And building games is a lot more fun, all right? So of course you can check out one of the videos that we have on Unity on this channel. So we have plenty of videos you can check out to learn more about this topic. And that will help you to build your first little applications, your first little games. And there, the next challenge would be to build the next complex game. As a beginner, starting with a 2D platformer definitely will be a good idea. So for example, there is this discontinued game from 2017. So he's probably also using an old Unity version, but either way, it's gonna be fine, right? So it's just here to demonstrate what he has built. So here, this is the game, Welcome to Particle. There's even a little introduction, so a tutorial. You can use WASD, to move the character and then you can use press jump or jump or up w to jump actually and so forth okay so even double jump is implemented hold jump to get faster and then you can see here even jumping walls is included so a really cool little game that will teach you the fundamentals of 2d platformers right i mean what is a 2d platformer all about it's it's about jumping running towards a direction and then whatever features you come up with do you want to put enemies in there do you i'm really bad at this game so i'm going to close it so <laughs> and then do you want to have some additional features such as double jump or even rockets where you can fly or you can shoot like in super mario where you can just shoot fireballs because you ate a flower i don't know like stuff like that i mean it can be something insane like this and you can really be super creative and just have fun building it right so this is not something that you should expect to make too much money off 
straight from the start because there are so many other people doing it. But if you just want to build a little application for yourself or a game that you want to share with your friends and just check it out and become better at it, that's that's amazing. I mean, in the end, the first game is ne probably never going to be a huge success. If you look at successful even indie developers, they have built probably like 50 games along the way until they finally had build one that was successful. And of course, if you want to make this a success, in any case, any of the applications that you're building, of course, this was just an advice for what you can build as a little challenge. But if you want to become successful with it, you can, of course, try to get a job. But if you want to start a business with it, you will have to learn business skills along the way. Because a product is nothing without customers if you're or users, if you're not finding them, if you're not selling to anyone, then what's the product about, right? If it's not used, that's something you would have to learn if you want to make a job out of it or your business out of it. All right. So thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any cool ideas for other projects that you would like to share with the guys or you have built something and shared it on GitHub or even on your blog or whatever, feel free to share it under the video. I'm very happy to see what you've built and what kind of challenges you came up with what kind of steps you need to do. And by the way, we also prepared an article in which you get some more ideas of what you can build with your C Sharp fundamentals knowledge. And of course, check out my C Sharp masterclass in which you're learning everything you need to know to get started with C Sharp and become a real C Sharp developer, even building some Unity games along the way and learning WPF as well as link databases. So really good stuff. And as I said, we're working on multiple cool courses. Okay. so. I'm still expecting to deliver a Unity course in Q2 this year. We're going to launch an ASP.NET course very soonish. Then there will be a WPF course also coming out in probably March. All right. So have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and see you in the next video.